Hey everybody, welcome back. I got one more in me. Vince Carter.jpg. Optimistic way of thinking about this weekly. Um, boy, I sure got a lot of nines. <laughs> it was shy sausages. They never appear on the breakfast menu. I gotta be honest with you. I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm a hot dog guy. I'm not just saying it to be divisive. If Costco also offered a hamburger on their menu, I would get it from time to time, but I think I would still main the hot dog. Uh, and I almost say that like price notwithstanding, because I'm sure that if the, I mean, the hot dog combo is $1.50, I'm sure the hamburger would be like two seventy five. It's still a very cheap price for a hamburger. Don't, don't get me wrong. Hold, don't hold. We're gonna be on, we should just act. X out of this one immediately. <laughs> We're toast. I really thought three cockroaches in round two was like unlosable. I'm just that, that's just the kind of guy I am though. I, I'm, I'm a hot dog Andy. It's true. Okay, give me my level. I, we didn't have to do that. I chose to do that, but then watch this. What, what if the salamander is the key this week? What if the salamander is the key, bro? Sometimes... All you need is one missing piece. You know what I'm talking about? The one animal I haven't really given uh, a chance this week. And then, I'll take it. Imagine how good those salamanders will be at making sure that our frigate bird can really pop off. Yeah. Start a battle. I love that for me. No start of battle. John's start of battle, no start of battle. Uh, I'm gonna dump you. And I'm gonna run something like this instead. I'm, we're, we're not pot committed to any of this. I guess we could have just gotten one HP out of the pill bug as well, but I, the cockroach having one HP is also kind of nice, honestly. So the idea is level two salamander, buy as many start of battles as you can, and then lollipop it so that uh, you can get like maybe 30 uh, HP and seven attack, and then f uh, start rebuilding it from the ground up. And it's, it's pretty efficient. We're not going Frigate Bird, that was a meme. It was a meme, people, let's not get it twisted. There is a start of battle in here. This is not a drill, there is a start of battle in here. And I think until we had, no, 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 you could though, you, you know what, there, maybe you would. Until um, the, we start seeing hippos and rhinos, I think we're okay with salamander in position three. It just, for whatever reason, I'm trusting my instincts, it just feels like the, the place for it to be. This feels fine right now. Having a unit with like 20 uh, defense is gonna go kind of crazy, I think. It's not quite gonna be 20, I suppose, but... This is basically like buying bacon at a cost of... It only works once per turn? I, I guess I should have realized that earlier. But holy brother. Why did I lollipop you? <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, but who's going to be laughing now that I've got like a slightly more aggressive... Tropical fish, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Works once per battle. Come on. Come on with this once per battle type stuff, bro. Sorry, I'm not even crying about it. I actually think, as I've said many times before, my naivete is one of my serious strong suits in this game. Um, me personally, I'm thinking it's basically guaranteed that we're getting the 10 on this one. It's probably, it's not even close. The only question is, how long is it going to take us to get that next lollipop? Because I really would love to see it as soon as possible. Please don't, don't box me in on this one. We got a real good shot. Start of battle. Very nice. Love to see it. And then a lollipop. Oh, it would have really hit the spot. It would have. Roll. It's, it's important to me, like, start of battle is important to me. It's very important to me that I see a lollipop, though. Thank you so much. I will not let you down. 
And the dude's going to be a menace when the stats swap, too. He's going to be like a 15-28. There's nothing to sneeze at. We should definitely move... Sa Once it gets swapped, at least, we should move Salamander into position two. Position one. It's going to change everything. We're going to be blowing these rhinos up. And it's going to feel good. This, this. I can't believe we're still running Cockroach here, but it is what it is. I'd rather get one more start of battle. Hard swap you into a 1532. Buff your Cockroach. Look for Scalers. Don't need another Lollipop for a little bit. ba -dum bum bum Level 2... What are you doing with this Husky? You just gave meat to the whole squad. <laughs> Save your chocolate and then run... Wait a second, there's something to this. Get like a level 2 dragon out there as soon as possible. I think it's over. I think it's over for the opposition. I do kind of hate keeping a food frozen for a long time, but I've been known to do it. A dragon. How delightful. Honestly, you're gone. Dragon exists. Freeze your tier ones. We put the whole system on trial. It's time to enact some revenge. I've been pushed around for too long. Oh, you love to see. Look at that level one crab, man. So inspirational. So I would say, bye. And look at this, a start of battle effect. Wow. Double dipping. Don't mind if I do. You have to allow me the opportunity to feel good about this, okay? This week has been making a mockery of me. They're dragging me on the Super Auto Pet subreddit. I, I doubt that is true. I'm just trying to build a narrative. <laughs> Don't really need that, to be honest with you. How about another chocolate? Level 2 dragon would go nicely. Me uh, on every squad I've ever built. Start of battle, though, at this point, I, I think is, is not necessary. Not unwelcomed, but unnecessary. So it's around 12. Big Salamander. He's going to have 50 attacks soon. He's going to be max soon. Cockroach can only scale up to like a certain point. But we may be free and easy by the time that point arrives. It just goes to show you, sometimes all you need is one missing piece. But it's not level 2 Salamander, it's level 2 Dragon. So imagine how strong we could be if we had a level 3 Frigate Bird on this squad. Oh man, nothing could stop us. We may never lose again. This is bad. It's, it's actually not bad at all. I apologize for getting you excited. It's a very routine situation. Very pedestrian, almost. Now, if anything, both short-term and long-term, probably a stake on your cockroach, because it's the only thing that can scale its attack. And I, I'm not even going to freeze the tier 1s. I'm going to be overly confident. I'm going to be the bad guy. I'm going to embrace the heal role, because I think embracing the heal role when you've done well... Uh, is more entertaining than the alternative. Very annoying to me when someone is like uh, dominant and then also uh, gracious is a good thing, okay? Like when they're like everybody who played hard. Everybody respects graciousness. Where it becomes disrespectful is when, you know, you're rank one worldwide, you're going up against rank 12, and you're like, I'm sure I'm gonna lose this one. Everyone's like, bro, just shut up, okay? You could, like, I'm not going to disrespect your opponent and say there's no chance, but at the same time, like, let's be, let's be realistic here, my man. <laughs> Can't you just be like Macho Man Randy Savage for a bit and be like, the cream always rises to the top. It's a big seahorse, man. Or a, a big donkey, I suppose. Don't... <laughs> Don't do this to me. Not again. 
I know what we need. It's a scorpion. Or a tier one unit. Really any unit with a stake on it. But how are you going to buy the stake, bro? How are you going to buy the stake? Okay, th this is what I call anti uh, donkey slash seahorse protection. Anybody that beats us will be running either a donkey or a seahorse. So we put the scorpion down there as a little poison pill. Told you. No, my scorpion is it's completely useless, bro. It's actually hilarious. Like it genuinely, it tickles the funny bone to look at the statistics uh, of our runs after we've gotten the nine wins. On nine wins, I think we actually have like an 8% win rate this week. It's, uh, I want to cry. It's disastrous. <laughs> it's, it feels really bad. I'll be like a slow biker. Technically, I, I pedal all morning and it never goes anywhere. Coefficient of friction is too high. I don't know if that's how they use coefficient of friction. It's technically not really on like a substrate. So I don't know if there is a coefficient of friction, to be honest with you. Don't know if he's heard of coefficient of friction, Pippin. Well, on the bright side, that means we can meme it up. Maybe level three bulldog. Maybe this is the way. It's beautiful. We should get two wins because we had a unit left over. My two cents. Something to think about. Then, then I could get to nine wins even faster and lose in an even more impressive fashion. Nah, man. Nah. I, I, I don't believe shrimp is the missing piece. I do believe buying as much meat as possible stabilizes you until you get the units you want to roll. And everything else is, uh, is fool's gold this week. I have no idea. I'm obviously, I'm not the guy to teach you how to get to 10, but I've done a pretty, pretty good job of getting the nine. <laughs> if that matters to you, and it may not. Fair. Um, I'm going to run, I'm running Badger at the back. Maybe I should run Badger at the very front, though. I just, I, I want to watch out for when hippos and rhinos start appearing, because it, it sucks giving up, like, free wins. Just because of your positioning. That's why I think spawning teams are not that good this week, but don't listen to me. Hippos and rhinos, are, they're just too... They're too out there this week. Sure? Sure? Nah, nah, man, nah. Not gonna do it. Probably should have bought one more meat, but I don't know who to put it on. Because I, I think this time I have to embrace that we should sell the bulldog. Though it pains me. 612 bulldog, I'm gonna cry. I'm not actually going to cry. I reserve that for my 103 minute long Little Miss Sunshine ride every morning. I mean, we, you got to... <laughs> at some point, you got to get rid of the ants. You probably want to get rid of the bulldog too, but we're about to get two tier fives. Imagine if we got two rhinos and I knew what to do with them. I mean, that could like, it could turn the, the entire game on its head. That is a slap in the face, quite frankly. And I love you for it because you taught me something. The pain taught me a lesson. One rhino. That one goes out to the, all the audio only listeners. Two rhinos. Wow, I can't believe it. Um, okay. I'm going to build scumbag strats, and I don't really think it's going to work, but I think I have to try. So goodbye, Bulldogs. Hello to hopefully an extended chance to build a big scorpion. Interesting. If we could get the bison popping, that's like two units scaling. Ten lords are leaping. What the heck are they so excited about, man? Oh, right, the five golden rings. Of course. <laughs> well, could have called that one. But, I mean, i that's what the Badger's here for, is unpredictability. Holy cow, it's a dream. 
why did I think that was good? <laughs> you know, uh, but then it's, too, no, 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 we're going to have too many foods. It's not husky time, okay? It's not. As much as I would like it to be, it isn't. And then you got to go position two. That's an insanely quick level two bison. So as long as you just never sell the seahorse, you got like a, a seriously good chance to make something beautiful happen here. I, I don't want to call it yet because I've made mistakes in the future or in the past. I probably made mistakes in the future as long as we're talking, you know, bad grammar. I would imagine. Dump it. Buy it. Continue trying to scale the scorpion. Like, this is a big hole for us to try to get the scorpion out of. It might take us, like, three or four more rounds before it could reasonably be expected to do, to do anything but two for one, or one for one. But it doesn't have to, to 20 for one because of the fact that we have this bison holding it down, too. Hold! Oh! <laughs> Just gonna take a second. Don't don't sweat it. Just gonna and this is perfect. And this is perfect. It's you've you've really got something cooking up here, bro. I know you're on two life. You really want to rattle off like six wins in a row right here. Huge turkey kill. That's a big one. I will say that the seahorse shuffle is kind of like it's almost costing me in some situations, but. It is what it is, you know? Go ahead. Want to see a pineapple as well? I would, I would give, no, no, I'm not going to give you that. I'm not, you don't need it that much. We need a pineapple. Barring pineapple, I would be more than content to give you a steak. And I would be, I don't know, maybe a steak on the bison. It, it does take 20 turns for it to get that level of attack. Huge shuffle! Oh my god, the, the shuffle actually might have saved us. It's true, we should probably invest in winning right now. It does make sense. Take this. Take this. I still like to scale you. I would like to scale you. Okay, that's nice. Oh, pineapple! That they got the very thing I've been requesting! Now the scorpion is kind of a menace, though. 2231 scorpion. I'm, I'm like expecting either two for ones or we get their best unit. You can't really plan for it necessarily because our seahorse keeps moving things about, but. My Le Scorpion, it Le killed people. It's always nice to see a big scorpion popping. That's bad. No, it's not that bad. It, it did screw up our ability to one-tap their hippo with our scorpion, but that's why we... I mean, we got shooters throughout the squad. We take those. We only need two more. What is that? That was, that was three wins in a row? That was four wins in a row. I'll tell you straight up, this squad ain't got it. <laughs> Sorry, guest. I need this one, okay? Still love a pineapple. Thank you so much. Well, I would rather have a level three than a pineapple. Oh, you shouldn't have. But I'm glad you did. And that's how you freaking do it. Okay, that's right. But imagine if I just had a frigate bird, man. Make the whole squad just come a little closer together. Okay, okay. No, no, no. You, you can't do this to me. I have my rights. I know my rights. You can't do this to me. Literally, I don't think there's anything else we could buy except drumstick. We did not get drumstick. I don't think I want to shuffle anybody's stats, to be honest with you. I perfectly... Content with our HP, I don't really want to give anybody any extra health. If anything, the stake units should have a little bit more attack, I think. But here we go. Here we go. 
this is a big moment for me. Th this is narratively building the me being cursed forever or me finally opening up that door, seeing a ray of sunlight and stepping out into the unknown. And we're going to step that side. Thank for narratively, that's a big moment. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. See ya!